Do you poll? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, real or fake Christmas trees? Who real. Is real. Real. Yeah. I'm talking about throwing my back out five real. years in a row. Fake. Yeah. See? Right. Okay, so I'm, I'm fake as well. What? I'm fake as well. Yeah, yeah, I did the fake tree. Uh, now, fake can be nice, but sometimes real is just feels better. We're talking Christmas trees, people. We've got Jerry Seifert from It's Christmas Keep It Real campaign joining us now uh, with, free, with information about how to pick a healthy Christmas tree. You are in uh, Dixon at the Sylvieville Christmas Tree Farm, surrounded by beautiful evergreens, right? Absolutely. Okay, so here's the thing. This is why I do not do real trees because I personally don't trust myself to number one, pick a good healthy tree to begin with and that the tree is gonna stay nice and supple throughout the entire Christmas season and I don't wanna start problems in my house. You know what? There's a lot of ways we can keep our trees fresh. Just look around us here in the farm. We've got the dew running on the trees this morning, and that's probably the most important thing with a, a tree growing in the ground. This tree can't be manufactured. It's grown from the soil. Mm -hmm. um, the smell is here, the scent, um, the freshness is here. And simply keeping your tree in water um, the entire season and um, in a cool location in your house is really the best thing you can do. You can't, you can't um, put a tree like this in a home and have it look like any other. Every tree is unique and different because it grows in, in nature and smells beautiful. You can't get that in they a manufactured yeah, tree you're as right. well. So, they smell wonderful. Yes. Okay, so question for you about the needles. Is there such a thing as a non-shedding Christmas tree? There is not. <laughs> um, a natural tree will drop their needles. They're yeah. evergreens. Yes. But the natural process of needle drop is going to happen on a fir, on a pine, on any kind of evergreen tree. Um, but there's a lot of things um, you can do getting a real tree into a house, hosing it down before you take it in, give oh, it a okay. good shake, um, keeping that moisture level up. Um, you can keep a tree in your house two or three weeks and be happy with it and have the experience of picking out a just a little bit different tree every year with yeah. um, friends and family. That's that's the fun part of it all. So, Jerry, uh, they open for the season there on Friday. Is that right? Yes, we open for our season on Friday and um, we have people waiting at the gate at nine o'clock in the morning um, coming to find that perfect tree. Fantastic. Now, I understand that people have a chance to come meet you in person tonight in Old Sacramento. We will be there, absolutely. You know, um, for us, this is a really exciting season. Um, we've been here for 38 years. I'm a second generation farmer. Um, this is my business. Um, like any, any other crop that you grow, these Christmas trees are planted every year after they're um, harvested by hand by our customers. And um, for us, it's kind of a culmination of a lot of hard work all season. And um, just to, to have these trees bring joy to, to um, family and friends that come each year to the farm is, is exciting to us. And I'll be excited to be there tonight to share that with people. Fantastic. All right. And that's Sac. taking place in uh, yes. Old Sacramento uh, this evening. We'll link all the information to our website um, for the tree lighting as well as for the Christmas tree farm there in Dixon. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Jerry. You're very welcome. All right. Thank you. Yes. Th there really is nothing like the charm of a real real life. Yeah.